friends, and welcome once again to the Midweek Update with your host, me, Pastor Tap, coming to you from the cafe once again. To begin with, friends, be reminded of the fireworks watch party this Saturday, July 3rd. Come early and play some games or hang out, maybe 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. Otherwise, be in place by dusk for an evening of fun and fireworks. Next, be reminded that we are now on our new worship schedule. Our traditional services will begin at 8.15 and 11 o'clock, with our praise service beginning at 9.30 a.m. Our children's ministries will take place during the 9.30 service, and moving forward, we will only be streaming the 9.30 service. So make note of those important changes. Also know that this week, Sunday, July 4th, marks the return of, are you ready for this? Coffee. I don't get it. After all, hot chocolate is where it's at. But our beverages will begin to return this Sunday with other refreshments following at a later date, a.k.a. donuts. I can't wait to make that announcement. Also know that in worship this week, we wrap up our series on God's amazing grace and how it works in our lives, drawing us to Jesus, helping us to live the lives that we were created and called to live. So we'll see you Monday morning at the same place, but at new times. Tied into the 4th of July weekend, uh, please know that the ministry office will be closed on Monday, July 5th. Be reminded that as we continue work on our new leadership model for our administrative work as a church, know that applications for that new board will be available in the next two weeks, along with a description of what the positions entail. Applications, then, will be due by August 11th. In closing, friends, allow me to end with everything Vacation Bible School. Number one, Vacation Bible School begins on Sunday, July 11th at 6 o'clock p.m. Number two, this year's theme is Rocky Railway. Jesus' power pulls us through. Number three, online registration is still open at MedinaUMC.com. Number four, crew leaders are still needed. Contact the ministry office as soon as possible. Number five, Financial donations of $400 are needed to fund the special event for the closing night on Thursday night. And that special thing is a magic train. Uh, so if you can help us fund that need, contact Patty Niger at the ministry office as soon as possible. That's all I've got for you today, friends. We'll see you Sunday morning, coffee or hot chocolate in hand. Until then, blessings on your week.